Good afternoon, this is Johnny Taylor, President and CEO of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, where education pays off. We represent the country's 47 public, historically, black colleges and universities, 23 states, the District of Columbia, and the Virgin Islands. I'm here today in Phoenix celebrating not only Super Bowl week, but celebrating the beginning of something very exciting, and it's the Cactus City Classic. We're working with some of the local uh, entrepreneurs here in the Phoenix market to create a very unique experience for African Americans in particular. Of course, we invite everyone, but we want to bring the best basketball teams from throughout the country, the country's historically black colleges and universities, right here to Phoenix so that they can enjoy a competition to name the best HBCU in basketball uh, next year. Uh, we uh, specifically are responsible for 300,000 students and nearly 2 million alum around the country who consider themselves HBCU supporters. We're going to converge on Phoenix in particular. We're going to come here in 2016-17 and we are going to make the entire city and indeed the state know that HBCUs matter, that black folks matter, and that we're going to have a good time, good fellowship, and we invite you all to come out, support our country's historically black colleges and universities, public and private. Thank you. But he's got 300 hits with the people he serves. Help me welcome Johnny C. Taylor. Those of you all who know who's making love, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's church. This is church. It's church. Watch That's it, right. Watch it, watch it. I'll be brief, I promise. I want to thank you all for giving me this opportunity on the series. If you're too young to know what it is, that's a long story. Uh, so am I. Um, the... Um, I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity, and what I'd like to do is recognize the parents, the grandparents, the cousins, the uncles, any, aunts, anyone who brought these young people here today, because that's how we're going to make a difference. All of you are currently helping us keep our brothers, our brown brothers, in and out of some not good circumstances by bringing them to events and occasions like today, so thank you. Real quickly, um, my I, I, just a real personal story. So I grew up in from a modest background. In fact, po. I mean, <laughs> just break it down to real po. And uh, growing up, what my motivator was: how do I make a lot of money? I mean, frankly, that's what I wanted to do it legally. But at the end of the day, I brother needed to make some money because I didn't like being poor. And um, so I went off to school and had the great fortune early on in my career to enjoy some success and to make some money. But along the way, I always said to myself that I wanted to find a way to give back. And, you know, giving back money is nice, but giving back your time is priceless. And so I came to this moment where I got a call one day from someone who said, we have the opportunity for you to give back. And that was to leave my nice, cush corporate CEO job, working in New York City, 53rd floor of a building, corner office, looking at the Statue of Liberty, private planes, I mean, the whole gig. And this is real from a, a kid from really modest background. Neither of my parents finished high school. I mean, dad went to prison. You name it. Like, I got a story. So when these brothers come to me with stories, I say, hold up, let me give you mine. And let's exchange stories. And quickly, they go back to their story. Um, but, the, but the deal is, I got this opportunity to come give back in a meaningful way, and, and it was a, a choice I had to make. I decided to leave all of that and go run the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. We represent the country's historically black colleges and universities, uh, the public, so the state institutions, but we also include Tuskegee University in Alabama and Howard University in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Thank you. The point is, all of you, young men, uh, particularly young men in this room, and young women, that's not knocking you, but young men, my brother's keeper, you're going to have, you're going to get that calling at some point, and I hope that you go off and reach whatever you, what level of success you want in your life, especially these young brothers here, and then you find a way to give back. You're going to have to give back. All of us are responsible for being our brother's keeper. My commitment is to keep brothers in college. That's what we do at the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, and that's the commitment that we have to our community. By the way, and I need to end with this. College is not, four-year college is not the end all. The only message that I send to each of you is that you need to get some post-high school training. 
So if it is that you end up at a vocational training school, be proud, because a lot of them make a lot more money than the rest of us, right? Yep. Um, if you need to go to a community college or want to go to a community college, do that. And then some of you will go to four-year schools. But at the end of the day, our message is to get additional education. And if you can't go off to a traditional school, there are. You have right here in your community a model like the University of Phoenix uh, that I think you should consider seriously. It's not just for adults. Uh, there are folks here who want to see you be successful, Dean, and you need to take advantage of that. Last shout out, we have in this room the CFO of the University of Phoenix, an HBCU alum, Tuskegee University. Byron, please stand. Stand up, Byron.